Master the art of refuting arguments in English debates. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning channel. In today's video, we'll delve into an essential part of debating in English. A skill that can add depth to your conversational capabilities. Refuting arguments. By mastering this skill, you'll be able to effectively counter others' points and make your own stand stronger. In a debate or even in a simple discussion, refuting an argument means disagreeing with someone's point of view and providing evidence or reasoning to prove why their argument might be incorrect. This process includes understanding their standpoint, formulating a response, and articulating it effectively. To sound respectful and professional when refuting arguments, certain phrases can be really handy. Here are some examples. 1. With respect, I must disagree with your point because. 2. I understand where you're coming from, but I see it differently. 3. That's an interesting perspective, yet I believe. Remember, using these phrases helps maintain a positive atmosphere, even when disagreeing. Refuting arguments isn't just about disagreement. It's a three-step process. 1. State the argument. Briefly summarize the argument you are disagreeing with. 2. State your opposition. Clearly state your disagreement using the phrases we've discussed. 3. Provide your evidence. Provide concrete reasoning or evidence supporting your viewpoint. Let's see this structure in action. Assume someone has argued that physical books are becoming obsolete due to the rise of e-books. Here's a refutation. I understand your point that e-books are gaining popularity. However, I respectfully disagree that physical books are becoming obsolete. In fact, many readers still prefer the tactile experience of a physical book, and a 2021 survey showed that 65% of American adults had read a print book in the past year, compared to only 25% who had read an e-book. And that wraps up our session on refuting arguments in English debates. Remember, the key to refuting arguments effectively lies in understanding the other person's perspective, respectfully stating your disagreement, and backing your viewpoint with solid evidence. I hope you found this video helpful and that you're now more confident in joining or initiating debates in English. Keep practicing and see you next time.